this demo is to teach users how to create an invoice, including the option to split the revenue to more than one chart string in Oracle Financial Cloud. In this demo, I will be using a test environment of Oracle, but it will be the same as production. We'll start on the Oracle home screen and select the receivables module and go into billing. From there, we'll click the task menu and under transaction, we'll select create transaction. Next, we'll select our business unit. For this demonstration, I'll be using UCSD campus. If your business unit is different, please enter the business unit here. For the transaction source, we'll select manual and the transaction type will be invoice. Next, we'll need to select the customer that we're billing. If you click this magnifying glass, it will pull up a search box and you can search by name, account number, account description, or taxpayer identification number. I'm going to use the name today. Once you type your information, click search. Once your customer pops up, highlight that line and select OK. That will autofill all of the customer information for you. You'll notice that payment terms is always going to default to net 30 per AR best billing practices. Once that's all filled in, you can go ahead and start adding your line items to the invoice. You'll need a description, a quantity, and a unit term, and some multiple lines here with different quantities and different unit prices. If you need to ship something and you need to add shipping costs, you can come to this break section and click the edit button. And you'll be able to enter all of your freight costs here and click OK once you're done. Then go ahead and click Save. And you'll notice when you save an invoice, this will change from Create Transaction to Edit Transaction, and it will assign an invoice number, which is also known as the transaction number. And it will say that again right here. If you wanted to update the chart string so that the line items are going to, you can click Action. Edit distribution, click yes to continue. And here you can change the chart string by line item. So just as an example, you'll click this little magnifying glass and you'll be able to change the entity, fund number, financial unit, and account number. So I will go ahead and update those. Once you have entered everything, you'll click OK. And you'll notice that that will update your chart screen here. And then line by line, you can update chart strings as you see fit. Once you're happy with your chart screen, you'll go ahead and click Save and Close. If you need to add special instructions to your invoice, you can go ahead and do that in the next screen. If you click show more at the top here, it will drop down a new build to the section that you can look at here. If you go over to miscellaneous, it will give you a special instructions box. So we will just put test demo here just so that we can see where that will show up on the invoice. If you have a PO number that you need to add, you can add that here. All right, and once you're happy with that, and you're good with your invoice, you can come up to the top and you can either select complete and create another if you have another invoice to send out. You can hit complete and close if you feel that your invoice is good to go and you don't want to look at it. Or if you'd like to review it, you can select complete and review. Okay, from this complete and review page, we can view the image so that we get an idea of what our invoice is going to look like to our customer. So this will pull up a PDF and we can see here our purchase order that we typed in shows here on the invoice. And then we have our special instructions at the bottom of the invoice and our line items show up here as well. If we're happy with this, we can select OK. 
and then we can go ahead and hit save and close. If you are unhappy with the invoice and you want to save something, you can hit incomplete and it would take you back to the previous page so that you could edit things. Since we are happy with this invoice, we'll go ahead and select save and close. And now your transaction is good to go. We'll display your transaction number one more time, which is also your invoice number. And you successfully created an invoice.